15,000 for the next slot. That's what I want to do. 400 microns. So this is spent for gas. And um, once I see some coming out the discharge here, I'll close the phone. Close the discharge phone. Feed it. Uh, and whoops, starting to get liquid out here. Now uh, the cone's already started to open on me. And I've got cable operation. Yep. You see if you keep the screw cover just like that. So for running a test, we'll have constant air pressure, constant screw RPM, and make sure we've got the uh, screw cover to jam it for a constant level effect. And I'm ready to start a time test. Oh, the tape coming out is quite dry. Okay, we're running a time test here. So we clean containers and everything constant. Okay. Food, the air pressure. Get a little bit of water out here. It's the first resistor feed. Four stages of compression. One, two, three, four. Four teeth. Okay. Four minutes and ten seconds into our test. Okay, we have uh, started uh, feeding in this material. Oh, it's sweet. We have the cone open, feeding out the last, the last of the sample we just ran and sent to the gas. And uh, see how this one works. Tougher fiber. Looking at the inlet hopper. See it feeding. I don't have anything coming out here yet. I hope I haven't jammed things up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, here's a piece of my stir stick. <laughs> yeah, the uh, screw, I was showing know what the pinch point is in that inlet hopper. It's the right-hand corner in the foreground there. And, uh, okay, we're feeding through. Now I'll run the cone in. And uh, we're still the same 20 hertz, but still 30 psi. And uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I want to get it going steady, and it's not going steady yet. Okay, coming out nicely. Um, There was more water before. That may have been some of the residual material from the previous test. Okay, I'm going to start a time test again. We're a minute and 15 seconds into our time test, but I notice this stuff is uh, practically pulverized. It, it just drives you over to get out of the street. We're continuing to get a steady flow of water. Um, most of it coming out in the last third of the screen. And, uh, 945 seconds. This is Thursday, the 4th of March, 2020. It's got a bigger press we're going to use here. It's a CT4. It has a 5 horsepower motor. Basically the same thing you're used to, a screw, screen, uh, 15,000, uh, uh, 400 microns. Uh, cone that goes in and out. I can actually that here. And uh, what we're going to run is the uh, material they sent us. You can see here it's uh, uh, been soaking. It's supposed to be 20 minutes, but so just soaked overnight. And uh, I split it into three pails to get the ratio of uh, uh, two pounds of fiber in each one with 3% concentration, I like 60 pounds of water, 
I found uh, as I stirred it up, there's some uh, pretty nasty sticks here. Uh, not a reason for using the six inch press instead of the four that we used yesterday. Uh, they're more likely to get through the press. And uh, since I don't have much of a sample, um, I've got some chaser material, cake left over, stuff left over from yesterday's testing. We'll throw that at the end and see if we can chase out a sample of good press cake moisture. Uh, I won't get throughput capacity. Well, I may get throughput capacity. Uh, doubtful uh, result with only uh, six and a half pounds to start with. Okay. We set the screw speed down at uh, 10 RPM. Trying to slow this press down. Oh, it's not getting too fast, but fast enough. Uh, we've got it set for two bar air pressure. Um, Free water draining out really easy. We we're not can't really do a capacity test. Plenty of hydraulic capacity. Yeah, it's uh, bridging on the top of the screw. So uh Well, we'll break the bridge. I think it'll feed okay if we keep breaking the bridge. Well, there's your screw turning. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We only had six pounds of that fiber to start with. I think that's our problem. We needed a, a bale of it. Starting to make some press tape. Of course, that's been conveyed wet. It hasn't squeezed the full length of the screen. At best, I'll get a first cake sample out of this. I think okay. why I'm going around with the screw right now is you're yeah, not so just the co rotating. Yeah, needs a drying stripper. This is the cake we've gotten out. Uh, I started collecting it uh, a minute and 20 seconds ago. And. Um, I'll grab some samples for a moisture test. I forgot to uh, chase this stuff out, but uh, here's the press cake. Notice the uh, threading action we're getting inside this screw press. Uh, there's not any particles, hardly uh, an inch long, and you saw what was uh, what we put into the press. That's our press cake. We've got parts of a screw press called a Brian stripper and a uh, cord cutter. We don't have them in this press, but um, uh, they would eliminate that jam that you see co-rotating with a screw. It's just pinched in the hole in the B plate between the plate and the hole in the B plate.